but me personally I think this look is bomb. I like this look, it's easy to achieve, all you need is a little bit of time and some toilet roll and you're good to go. Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to do like a two-faced look. Um, so half my face is going to have something and the other half is going to be like pretty and gorgeous. But well, we're going to work on the pretty and gorgeous because I'm still <laughs> not the greatest at applying um, makeup. But you know, trial and error. So today we're going to do two-faced. So it's going to be like moon looking opened mouth um, wound. So we are going to use some latex glue, some tissue paper, makeup, eyeshadow and brushes. That is what you will need. So let's get started. As you see, I've outlined where I want to start putting the tissue paper and just giving myself a bit of a reference on where to stick my teeth. Now, yesterday I did it and it came out so good. I don't know if you can see that came out so good now that is what I'm gonna try and replicate for you guys today so I'm sorry if I look really really tired I only got three hours sleep last night <sighs> got like slight insomnia sometimes um, I can only sleep for like two three hours at the most so yes last night was one of those nights and that's why I ended up doing that particular look because yeah I was up and I was like you know what I need to do something with my time just to kind of you know wear myself out anyway enough of the talking and let's just get straight into it so we're gonna get our makeup sponge and just apply it in the latex and I'm just gonna go around where I want to put the tissue paper Cleanse um, my face off and of powder because I had a little bit of powder. You want to make sure that your paper is really ripped up and you know really bitty. You don't want really, you don't want smooth edges. That's not what you want. And we're just going to apply the scatty tissue all over. <laughs> So I've put about, I'd say I put about three layers, four layers on. You can go thicker, obviously, the bigger the wound you want and the more kind of um, detailing you want to put on it, then obviously the bigger you go. But I'm just going to go for this. And then while um, this is drying, I'm just going to apply some latex under my eye. Please bear in mind when using the latex that some latex do have high ammonium um, content and it can be quite irritating once it gets near the eye. It can be like a menthol sort of feeling and it makes your eyes water. This one is not too bad. It is kind of smelly but it's not too bad. So I'm just going to put some under my eye like this. Okay, I'm totally okay so I'm gonna leave that to dry as I said I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this bit of latex but I feel oh sorry I feel um, that I can do it a little bit extra on this side of my face so I'm gonna attempt to do something I'm just gonna let this dry I'm gonna plug in my hair dryer it's gonna get a little bit loud oh. Back to the, back to the tutorial, and um, yeah. So I've got my hair dryer, standard hair dryer. It's got a cool setting, so that's what I will be using to dry my face all the way dry. I uh, see this one's gone transparent. That's brilliant. That's what we wanted. Yeah, can you see it's kind of like wrinkly and stuff, and it's creeping up. Lovely. It's really dragging down my eye. It's kind of what I wanted. I might have to go in just with one more layer of that latex glue on my eye. Uh, just probably at the bottom so I can get a little bit more like pull when I want to start moving it around and playing with it and stuff. So again, with the tissue papers, just 
rip them up and more latex. I tried to use my mirror for this, but I'm gonna use my mirror for when it comes to probably drawing in the teeth and stuff, but for now I'm just using the viewfinder and yeah. Okay, just gonna add some more rich and pretty. I really, really love doing this sort of stuff. I love doing this stuff more than I love doing like pretty girl makeup because I just find it so hard all that like glamorous look and stuff and the highlight and the contour and I have all the products, brushes, you name it. I've got it. Thanks AliExpress. No, I'm not sponsored. I just love that site. And um, yeah, you know, I try and try, but it could just be I'm just not meant for that particular sort of makeup. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I keep trying because, you know, that's the great thing. As I say, that's the great thing about makeup. You can do mistakes and you can always learn from them. There's no point trying to be a perfectionist straight off the bat. You know, my mum, she never allowed me to wear any sort of makeup, not even like nail varnish when I was younger. I wasn't allowed to do none of that. You know, I could barely wear lip gloss when I got to secondary school. So when all the YouTubers were like, ooh, what makeup I did when I was in high school, I was like, Phew. I was lucky to get away with um, some lip gloss when I was in school, you know? I think my mum allowed me to wear kind of mascara and eyeliner when I got to 15 because she was like, well, you'd be leaving school soon, so, you know, why not? You know, you can start experimenting with makeup and stuff. I've got two um, sleek palettes. One is the Ultra Matte V2 and the other one is an original. The V2 has got, like, just matte shades. I'll be using this grey sort of shade to outline my teeth and then I will go in with this more black shade from this palette to go over the teeth and then to go over the teeth one final time I'm gonna use a liquid black gel liner just a generic one and I also have a white NYX pencil I wish I had some white liquid liner or gel liner but I don't I'm just going to have to make do with what I have. I've lost my artiste brush. I don't know what, not artiste as in oval artiste, no, my artist brush. I've actually lost it. The one I was actually using yesterday to do this look, I lost it. So I'm going to have to just use my other, of my other angle brushes because um, they're really good angle brushes. And also if the um, latex glue gets on these, on your brush, your brush is finished mate this is why I recommend you get yourself some sponges um, brushes that you don't mind getting like destroyed I prefer to use artist brush I don't know if they're made of a different material but they're just easier to to get the latex off if they do get on but that's just what I found with my particular artist brushes but that gray color from the sleek matte ultra matte palette and I'm um, gonna just start drawing the the teeth with the eyeshadow just do some squares That's what I've been dealt with today, so that's what I'm going to go with. Could wipe it off and do it again, but I just... I mean, I came out okay, so... I think I need more... Gap inch, I don't know, I don't make this long enough. I'm going to put just a few more layers here, just so I can pull this back. So it can really look like it's the inside of my mouth. I'm just going to peel the edges away, so we can kind of... Just want to colour those bits in a bit later. I'm just sticking down the bits I feel just sticking out just a bit too much. And it's always the cheeks, you know, because they're chubby and uneven. So put a bit of latex on that tissue, so it's a little bit more hard and easy to work with. Alright, I think that's enough for now. 
color in the teeth just lightly just so we can just so I've got a white I'm gonna go over that. Um, I'm gonna go over those teeth with the powder that's in here, the white powder. Just see if it will make it pop. And just brings that pencil out just a little bit more. Again, don't worry about being a perfectionist because it's supposed to look gross. So if there's mistakes, no one will tell. No one can tell actually, should I say. And gross now. I still think I should just leave it for like a minute or so. Right, so now this is the fun bit. My favorite bit is always, is filling this area in my skin color. Now, as the weather's changed, I've lost my little sun kiss glow. All my makeup is just, it just doesn't go with me. Um, so I'm just gonna basically um, use this Kiko Matte Mousse Foundation and a few of the darker shades in my contour palette. I'm just gonna make it look like, you know, my mouth done by saw pan. I'm really annoyed about this bit here, you know. It just messed up my tooth, man. But anyway, onto the onto the filling out of the area, so Okay, so I've covered the majority of what I could cover with that foundation, but obviously it's just not enough coverage. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest color in my contour palette. Okay, I'm gonna try that gold thing, you know, because my curiosity always gets the best of me. So I've got a nice kind of goldy color. And I don't know if 
that makes a bloody difference. No, I think I need a more of intense um, pigment. I do have one like this. Um, it is um, actually it is for um, face paints and stuff. So maybe, you know, I'll just dip my brush in just a little piece. It's quite pigmented, but I don't know how the distribution of this particular product is because I've never used it. It's just always there. It just always comes in like face things. Okay. Hey, pigment. it a lot <laughs> now for this eye business yeah this is not how I wanted it to come out not at all so I don't know what I'm gonna do now right you know what I wish I had like a red oh yeah I do and I made sure I picked the eye this eyeshadow so it would mix it would blend really well with the colors that I would be using which is like the purples the blacks and the browns I'm just gonna bring that color all the way around a bit of black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna make little She's gonna die. Okay, I'm back finally. Right, I've just charged up my battery. So, um, yeah, let's go back into what we were doing. So, um, I've bruised up my eye, but I think I'm gonna just go a little bit more with um, like a purpley sort of color. So I've got this brown. Oh, sorry, I've got this. It looks so pink, but I've got this browny, purpley colour, and I'm just gonna bring it up on my eyebrow bow. Kabuki brush, and I'm just gonna. Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm using this foundation. It's not my favourite. Look, you see what I mean? It just falls off anything you put it on. I think you've got to apply this with your hands, but with my breakout situation, my hands, you know. It's not advisable, really. Yeah. No joke, like my skin. I could put on something to mattify my skin. And within that hour, trust me, I will be shiny. I've even done like, a, I think it was like my second to last video that I shot. And there was an hour difference. I think I had to wait an hour for the eyebrow gel to dry. And you can actually just see in an hour how greasy I get and I'm just in my house I haven't even gone out in the elements you know what I mean so you can only imagine when I'm outside I am just oily and just oh so I need that Kat Von D man. I need it to give me some this is a matte foundation and it was only six pounds it was on sale so I bought it I thought yeah why not oh huh. interesting oh I like this Oh, I feel skinny. I feel like when I was a size 12. The good days where all jeans fit me and I could go into any shop and buy any jeans. This brush is just, if you ain't got one of these little contour brushes, Get yourself down to AliExpress and get yourself one of these. <laughs> it's like a pound, maybe two. Oh my god. Hello, face. 
you are chiseled. Let's help me out with the smoky. Now, shall I attempt to put on lashes? That is another question. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I've put lashes on maybe twice in my life. I would love to put lashes on for this look because it would just make it pop. So I'm going to see if I can find lashes. I managed to get a lash on, kind of. <laughs> don't look up close. It, I couldn't find my eyelash curlers, so I couldn't curl them. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave this side like this by all means, you know, if you're professional, not like me, but if you can do the whole glam and you know, you know, have it popping, I'm gonna use some of the gold that I used on my thing, on my gold tooth. And I'm just gonna put that here. Give me a little speckle, give me a little Highlight, I think that's what the girls call it. Highlight. Then, along this whole side of the face, so you need your red lipstick. As I don't have gel blood, I've got this. It works the same. Just try to not pull it directly on your skin because it will stain as it's a lip stain. But I love the consistency of this. As I did my lip stain um, first impressions video, I will link up there. Um, the consistency as soon as I saw it I was like that's my blood like it's shiny it's sticky it doesn't move too much but it moves enough like yeah so my car just just Oh, this you know anyway whatever right back to the makeup back to the good stuff get my matte palette it's got that nice kind of greeny color in it that one oh, is it that one? yeah this one not that one's teal this greeny color and I'm just gonna Lipstick. I think I got it from Revolution from Superdrug 99p. I think it's called Vamp. I want to say it's called Vamp. Nice black colour. It's not really black, it's like a really deep purple. Okay, one last thing. Well, not one last thing, I've got several last things to do, but before my battery runs out, let me do this. Okay, so I've put my contact in and take your red blood gel thingy Bobby Jimmy onto your brush of choice and I'm just going to dot it about I'm going to try and concentrate it more on the white bits that I couldn't actually fill out so but me personally I think this look is bomb right because I messed up this under eye business I'm going to have to add just a little bit of blood And what I would advise is that you don't use this. But, you know, I'm a risk taker, so I don't mind if it stains my face. That is what concealer is for. So don't panic. Don't panic. As I always do. Oh, God, I just messed up that little bit there. Let me just try and transfer a little bit of it there. I cut the head.
and yeah there you go there's your Too Faced I hope you enjoyed my tutorial um, I hope it was beneficial for you <laughs> um, if you liked it please thumbs up subscribe again doesn't cost you anything you just have to hit that red button down there somewhere or down here and yeah please share my content if you like this look it's easy to achieve all you need is a little bit of time and some toilet roll and you're good to go so yeah bye YouTube love you bye happy Halloween <laughs>